Uh, we're going to cross back to Simon, who's going to tell us about the day's uh, final match between Ivory Coast and Equatorial Guinea from Group E. Now, Ivory Coast has won AFCON twice. The last time was in 2015. And this year, they're starting off pretty well as well, aren't they? A very, a very important start for the elephants and a flying start to the competition, Alison. That's the simplest way to put it. Max Alain Grado, the captain of Ivory Coast, scoring after just five minutes was an absolutely stunning uh, volley uh, to sink uh, their opponents. Uh, uh, it was a very difficult uh, match uh, for the Ivory Coast in general against Equatorial Guinea. Very physical game, but they were in control for most of the match. They scored the, the early goal. Equatorial Guinea uh, struggled to really create many clear-cut chances and the elephants were able to control the game there were some contentious moments uh, either side of half time just before the interval equatorial giddy should have probably been awarded a penalty for handball which wasn't given uh, by the referee despite a, a var check and just after the break equatorial guinea had a few opportunities some very dangerous opportunities but ivory coast uh, were able to weather out uh, that storm i must say that eric by the manchester united center back was simply immense uh, for uh, the Ivory Coast, really marshalling the back four and making sure that uh, by and large they had a nice uh, calm afternoon and the introduction of fellow Premier League man Wilfred Zaha added a lot of attacking impetus. On the other hand it was a little bit of a disappointing uh, performance and match uh, for Sebastian Aller, the Champions League top scorer so far this season with 10 goals in uh, the European elite uh, competition, yet he wasn't able to have any impact on the game. Patrice Bommel, who was assistant coach when the Elephants won in 2015, is going to have to try and up uh, the Ivory Coast's uh, tempo because, let us not forget, uh, they are in a group uh, with defending champions Algeria and we've seen that Sierra Leone, who they play next, are very, very adept at marshalling their, their pack, being very organised and they're going to have to guarantee that they win that one to avoid a, a touch-and-go match Match with Algeria on the final day of the group stages. All right, Simon, well, that did uh, wrap up today the first round of the uh, group stage.